Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about this Maxwell's bridge. So Maxwell's bridge is very 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 important from examination point of view and it is used to measure the unknown inductance value. Unknown inductance value. Okay. So unknown inductance it, uh, in the starting of this bridges I have given you one chart in that AC bridges DC and uh, bridges are classified into DC bridges and AC bridges and in the AC bridges depending upon the type of measurement whether it is capacitance inductance or frequency there are several bridges are also there and among them in the measurement of unknown inductance Maxwell's bridge is the first one okay uh, for the measurement of this inductance several bridges are, uh, are there like inductance comparison bridge Maxwell's bridge, Hayes bridge, Anderson's bridge. Okay, Owen's bridge is also one of them. So now coming to this Maxwell's bridge, how to measure the unknown inductance? What are the bridge components? Let us see. See, this is the circuit diagram of the Maxwell's bridge where the unknown impedance is connected at the fourth arm. Unknown impedance is connected at the fourth arm. Unknown impedance. Impedance is nothing but resistance plus reactance. So, Rx plus uh, J omega Lx is there. Okay. Rx plus J omega Lx is there. And uh, here, the point we need to remember here is the unknown inductance Lx can be measured, can be calculated in terms of in terms of known capacitance value that is c1 known capacitance value that is c1 you have to remember this point in the inductance comparison bridge we have calculated the unknown inductance value by using the known inductance but here the unknown inductance is calculated by using the known capacitance value okay that is quite opposite to the previous case the known first arm now let us see when bridge is in balanced condition again same when bridge is in balanced condition here there is no question for going to the unbalanced condition because the unknown impedance whenever the circuit consisting of unknown impedance definitely we have to use this for bridge balanced condition so bridge is in balanced condition when bridge is balanced okay so what is the formula z1 z4 is equal to z2 z3 opposite terms should be multiplied and equated okay now where where what is z1 what is z1 it is a parallel connection of it is a parallel connection of c1 and r1 r1 and c1 okay remember when the bridge is having a parallel connection of r1 and c1 it is always better to go for admittance instead of impedance okay keep this point in mind when if the bridge is consisting of anywhere whether it is in the first term second or third arm or fourth arm any arm if the bridge is having a parallel combination of resistance and capacitance then it is always better to consider admittance because if you go for admittance definitely you can directly write this r1 and c1 suppose i will tell you how it is uh, possible see what is z1 now z1 is equal to z1 is equal to parallel combination of r1 and c1 so r1 in parallel with 1 by j omega c1 r1 in parallel with 1 by j omega c1 suppose if these two are in series how will you write them r1 plus 1 by j omega c1 okay so if you take the admittance value you can write y1 as admittance admittance y1 as 1 by r1 plus j omega c1 okay 
if r1 and c1 both are in series listen carefully if r1 and c1 both are in series you have to write r1 plus 1 by j omega c1 just invert the individual values r1 becomes 1 by r1 and 1 by j omega c1 becomes j omega c1 when you are writing the admittance value admittance you can directly write like this for a parallel combination of r1 and c1 okay how we have got this one by just simply taking the parallel combination and doing the inversion see r1 plus 1 by j omega c1 divided by r1 plus sorry r1 into j omega c1 divided by 1 by j omega c1 so that is equal to r1 by take lcm 1 plus j omega c1 r1 okay i am explaining why you have got r1 is equal to y1 is equal to like this okay so z1 what is z1 now z1 is this one what is y1 1 by z1 that is equal to 1 by r1 by 1 plus j omega c1 r1 just take this in the numerator 1 plus j omega c1 r1 by r1 separate them 1 by r1 plus r1 r1 cancel it will become j omega c1 this is what the y1 what i have already taken here okay when the parallel combination of resistance and capacitance is there just invert r and invert capacitance individually suppose suppose if capacitance and resistance are in series how will you write them z is equal to z1 is equal to r1 plus 1 by j omega c1 this is how we are writing when z uh, when r and c are in series so if you want to write the same for parallel connection in terms of admittance you need to invert this one plus you need to invert this one that becomes this one clear i think it is clear now okay so the bridge balanced condition we need to do a little change bridge balanced condition so z1 z4 is equal to z2 z3 so z4 is equal to z2 z3 by z1 1 by z1 is nothing but y1 okay so what is z2 we know what is z1 we know what is y1 uh, z2 is equal to simply r2 z3 is equal to simply r3 and z4 is equal to rx plus j omega lx you can substitute all these in this first equation okay so z4 is equal to rx plus j omega lx is equal to z2 z3 r2 r3 into y1 1 by r1 plus j omega c1 multiply r2 r3 by r1 plus r2 r3 j omega c1 okay so this is all equal to rx plus j omega lx rx plus j omega lx just equate real and imaginary parts then rx is equal to r2 r3 by r1 rx formula will not change the same formula you have for number of times and if you equate the real imaginary parts j omega j omega gets cancelled and lx is equal to lx is equal to c1 r2 r3 this is the formula for unknown inductance unknown inductance lx okay now in the maxwell's bridge we can also calculate the quality factor we can also calculate the quality factor so what is the quality factor of inductance q is equal to omega lx by rx omega l by r normally quality factor of inductance because why we need to calculate for inductance because our unknown value is inductance 
okay so q is equal to omega l by r normally you can also take omega lx by rx so that is equal to omega what is lx substitute c1 r2 r3 by what is rx r2 r3 by r1 so simply it is equal to r2 r3 gets cancelled omega r1 c1 q this is the quality factor of maxwell's bridge quality factor of the maxwell's bridge okay so here one point is <coughs> quality factor for this maxwell's bridge q varies from 1 to 10 q varies from 1 to 10 that means it is having very low quality factor low quality factor maxwell's bridge is having very 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 low quality factor which is varying from minimum value of 1 to maximum 10 that's why we have to go to the hayes bridge hayes bridge may have greater than this value okay higher value that uh, it is having highest uh, quality factor and the bridge is used to measure and bridge can measure a inductance unknown inductance value unknown inductance value can be measured from 1 to 1000 henry unknown inductance can be measured within the range of 1 to 1000 henry so normally commercial maxwell bridges can measure this uh, inductance value 1 to 1000 henry is uh, with a plus or minus 2% plus or minus 2% error plus or minus 2% error okay so if q is very large then r1 becomes successively large and it is impractical to obtain the satisfactory variable standard resistance in the range of values required okay that's why we are having this much of lesser q values and as well as this unknown inductance can be measured in the range of 1 to 1000 henry with a per error of plus or minus 2 percent let it be a any percentage error like 1 or 2 percent okay so this is about maxwell's bridge and its quality factor thank you